Hi everyone, today we will use the uh, Hamilton simulator to simulate adaptive support ventilation mode and uh, if you have one of those ventilators that has uh, uh, ASV uh, available uh, on it you can set it by going to the patient first you need to uh, put the ideal body weight and that ideal body weight is calculated automatically from the patient's height and the gender then you go to modes and you select uh, ASV confirm it's already selected and you go to controls in the control uh, uh, section you need to decide about uh, what is the minute ventilation that is uh, adequate for that patient uh, our patient here has ARDS with uh, sepsis so you need to give him a higher minute ventilation than the normal minute ventilation at 100 ml per kg so let's decide to give him here uh, 125 percent of course in patients with asthma you may decide to give uh, lower than 100 percent at 90 percent to uh, decrease the uh, risk of uh, dynamic hyperinflation in uh, patients with uh, fever uh, you need to increase the uh, minute ventilation by at least 10 percent then uh, you set the uh, p max uh, uh, this simulator here does not have the Pmax dial, but you can see it here already set at 40. And if you set it at 40, the limit would be 10 centimeter below that uh, uh, alarm uh, limit. So uh, uh, be careful when you have a patient with uh, ARDS. Uh, do not uh, set the alarm limit uh, too low. If you set it at 30, the uh, pressure will not go above 20 centimeter of water so in order to stay within the protective lung strategy the uh, setting this pressure at uh, 40 will limit this pressure at 30 centimeter of water then uh, you can decide how fast you want to go with that pressure from the peep level to the peak inspiratory pressure uh, level uh, let's keep it at 15 milliseconds here this is a ramp and then uh, you uh, decide how much PEEP you want to give the patient. I'll keep it at 8 here, but certainly you should use more than this for a patient with ARDS and high FiO2. We'll give him FiO2 of uh, 60% uh, in this simulation. And then the last two dials that you need to uh, set uh, would be applicable to the uh, spontaneous press. Uh, if the patient started to breathe, uh, he needs to generate 5 liters per minute in order to uh, trigger the pressure support uh, breath you can uh, decide whether you want to do uh, a pressure or a flow let's set it here at a flow and uh, go down to 3.5 liters per minute in order to trigger this would be the cycling mechanism uh, it's set at 25 uh, percent uh, that the flow needs to reach uh, compared to the peak inspiratory pressure once the uh, flow gets to 25% of that peak inspiratory pressure at that time the uh, machine will release that pressure in the uh, volume support breath so this way we finish the uh, uh, setup uh, and we start the mode this patient uh, is now ventilated with uh, uh, pressure uh, regulated uh, volume control uh, mode of ventilation you can see the decelerating uh, inspiratory flow the expiratory flow it goes back to zero before the next uh, breath you can uh, select the uh, adaptive support ventilation window here and let's select the monitor in the other window here so once the uh, mode started uh, uh, the machine gave already five uh, test press and calculated the uh, expiratory time constant uh, and then uh, came up with optimal uh, respiratory rate at 20, 21 for this patient and the uh, target tidal volume is at 399 uh, and you can see that the uh, uh, machine drew a uh, curve for you the green line here that represents all the combinations of the uh, uh, respiratory rate with the tidal volume to give you that fixed minute ventilation of 8.3 liters per minute however the target is set here at uh, 8.3 uh, liters per minute uh, delivered with 21 breaths and uh, each one is 399 uh, uh, ml of uh, air 
this patient is not breathing at this uh, point so everything is PRVC and the uh, control rate is 21 uh, breaths per minute each breath is given with a pressure and that pressure is required to uh, deliver this tidal volume is currently at 17 centimeter of water <laughs> You can say that uh, you can see that uh, the uh, peak pressure is 25, which is 17 plus 8. You have only 5 centimeter uh, of water uh, to work with, in case there is deterioration in the condition of the patient. At the same time, notice that there is uh, the safety box for you here. The uh, tidal volume will uh, not go uh, below the uh, lower limit here to avoid. Uh, hypoventilation it will, it will not go above the higher limit here to avoid body trauma and barotrauma and the rate is uh, limited at uh, 5 beats uh, uh, per minute uh, and the uh, maximum rate is uh, here at uh, 60 uh, the machine will try to push the patient towards this target at all times the rate will go up and down and the pressure will go up and down to achieve that target. So let's see what happens once uh, there is a change in the compliance and let's go in the compliance to 20. Uh, at compliance of 20, the machine will recalculate the uh, expiratory uh, time constant. And you will see that the new target for the uh, tidal volume uh, is changed to 384. The new target for the rate is at 22. The patient is not at target, his uh, tidal volume is lower than the target, it's at 355. So the pressure started to go up from 17, you see now the pressure is 19. And the rate needs to go up from 21 to 22 in order to get to this target area. So you can see that the pressure at 19 is increasing the uh, tidal volume here and we almost achieved uh, the target and the rate is already increased to 22. So depending on where the patient is at, the uh, pressure would either go up or, or down to achieve that target. The rate would go up or down to achieve uh, the optimal uh, uh, respiratory rate. Notice that the uh, safety uh, lines uh, have changed uh, also uh, based on the new compliance. And uh, the pressure now is at 19. Uh, let's worsen the uh, compliance more let's go to 18 and see what happens at uh, compliance of 18 the uh, expiratory time constant recalculated the new target is 379 or 77 the uh, patient is at lower than uh, his target with the tidal volume and uh, now we're uh, increasing the pressure gradually here so the pressure goes up from 20 from 19 to 21 to achieve to that uh, to achieve that target so you can see the uh, minute ventilation is uh, gradually going up uh, to uh, the target of 8.3 liters now if uh, uh, the patient started to breathe uh, he will go from prvc into volume control and let's do that the patient on inspiratory rate is increased so we'll see how he's going to make the changes from PRVC you can see how he started to breathe here and the uh, breath is changed from pressure controlled uh, or PRVC to volume control or pressure support I'm sorry volume support or pressure support so this is a volume supported breath meaning that the pressure support will be variable up and down to achieve that target so it's initiated by the patient and you can see the patient's own inspiratory rate is now at 21 the machine is doing now it's up to 22 the machine is doing zero the inspiratory pressure is still at uh, 20 and we're uh, achieving our targets with this uh, a new mode uh, of ventilation with the volume support so notice that the machine changed from prvc to volume support automatically once the patient started to breathe if the patient is breathing at a rate uh, lower than 22 and the target is 22 the machine will go into psinv pressure sinv where it will be mandatory uh, 
uh, ventilation given to the patient uh, and then in between he's able to breathe with volume support and then the total uh, tidal volume uh, the total minute ventilation will stay around 8.3 liters so now if the uh, compliance improved let's see what happens we go to compliance of 26 and now that same pressure uh, will deliver higher tidal volume you can see that the tidal volume here is much higher than the target so the pressure will start going down gradually you can see that the pressure this is where the patient uh, is residing now the tidal volume is higher 517 but the target is 406 so you can see how the pressure is gradually is gradually decreasing to 13 it needs to go further down to get that tidal volume actually to 406 the pressure now is at 12 and the uh, minute ventilation is still higher than the target so the pressure would go down further in order to get the patient's current situation above that target now it is 418 406 is the target and we are very close to the target at this point so the pressure uh, remained at uh, 12 centimeters uh, and uh, we're achieving that target here and the current minute volume is 8.3 the machine is giving no press at all and the patient is doing his own breath at uh, his spontaneous breathing at uh, 20 per minute everything is volume supported and the pressure is uh, 12 centimeters if the uh, compliance improved further you can see how the uh, pressure would start going down gradually but it will not go below the uh, these limits here okay so it's nine liters right now and the patient is uh, breathing at 20 still per minute so the pressure goes down to 10 and we'll see what uh, his current tidal volume the pressure may need to go even lower than this to get to a target of 429 you can see a pressure of uh, 9 now and would need to go further down We're getting close to the target here. And the tidal volume is still at 443. So the uh, pressure down to 8 centimeter of water now. And we're getting very close to our target now. So we're uh, almost at the target here. And the patient will be maintained you can see how we can wean this patient gradually so as his uh, inspiratory efforts improving that pressure support level will gradually go down and then the patient will be ready for extubation so you can see a lot of automation in this mode it changes from uh, prvc to volume support based on the uh, patient's spontaneous breathing and uh, the uh, inspired pressure is adjusted uh, <coughs> or regulated uh, gradually based uh, on the uh, uh, patient's effort uh, and the, uh, and the uh, compliance of the respiratory system. With improved compliance, uh, the pressure goes down gradually. With worsened compliance, uh, the pressure goes up uh, gradually to uh, achieve the target uh, tidal volume. That target tidal volume is changed constantly based on uh, uh, changes in the uh, respiratory system compliance and uh, resistance. So I hope this uh, gives you a better picture of what is uh, ASV mode of ventilation is. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, post them on the comment uh, section in uh, this YouTube channel and I'll be uh, more than happy to answer them in the best of my capabilities. Thank you.